Hey everyone, welcome to episode number three. Three already, can you believe it? Three. Uh, almost, <laughs> almost a month of doing almost this Almost a month of doing it, which stuff. is awesome. Uh, press this, press that. Uh, video episode where we're going to compare themes, plugins, and other various things about WordPress. Mm -hmm. I'm your host, Matt. And I'm Dan. And we're, today we're going to talk about a very, very uh, intense subject. Yeah. Um, E-commerce e on WordPress. Mm. Uh, so we're going to look at two plugins, WooCommerce, uh, and WP e-commerce clashing heads, the, the clash the of the titans, titans yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, going at it. So we're going to take a look at it from a very yeah. high level. There's a there's a lot you can go into here as far as you know you know you know how they're designed from the bottom end, from the back end, from the front end, things like that. So we're going to keep it more about the user interface for people who are really just looking to get started yeah. with an e-commerce um, as opposed to a multifaceted business. We may in the future do a more of a discussion there with other plugins. Maybe these will come back or against other e-commerce plugins. Because as you're aware, if you are looking for an e-commerce plugin and you found us, there are tons of options out there. Yeah, there, there are there are tons. Uh, definitely due for more episodes to come yeah. comparing others. Uh, and about a year ago, you know, WooCommerce is is a part of Woo Themes, uh, mm -hmm. Woo Company. Uh, that does a lot with WordPress themes, WordPress plugins, right. WordPress development. Mm -hmm. uh, so they kind of took uh, Jigo Shop, which is another one that we can eventually look at, sure. <clears throat> and kind of forked that into WooCommerce. So there's always that little gray area. That gray area. Uh, in the WordPress community. The moral dilemma. Moral dilemma. Um, but, uh, you know, they've, they've progressed over the, over the course of the year. They've added a lot of great uh, value to the, to the sure. plugin. Um, and they have a lot of extensive stuff, so let's get right into it. Um, sure. Looking at it from the user perspective, I think WooCommerce uh, has is, it goes back to they have great support. Right. They're a company that's already supporting thousands mm -hmm. upon yep. thousands of people with their mm -hmm. themes. Right. Um, they're making a turnkey solution for folks that have the themes mm -hmm. and want to get up and running with e-commerce. Right. Um, so with that said. Number one is great support, great support you know, and, that's, is... and that's what we're going for. The plugin is free. Um, it's all the little sub-plugins that you right. add, uh, plugins for the plugin, uh, if you will. And that's also how um, WP e-commerce is going to work as okay. well when we get there. Excellent. Uh, so uh, great support and a great selection of, of plugins for uh, WooCommerce. Uh, lots of payment gateways. We use it a lot on our client sites. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, Oodalink is a satellite phone company that we recently uh, launched, and they're using it, and they're selling, you know, multi-thousand dollar satellite yeah. phones uh, Crazy. You know, for emergency or, um, you know, rescue teams, stuff like that. Uh, so it supports all that. It supports yeah. uh, m many gateways, which is great. Uh, and it was fairly easy to customize. There are some quirky CSS uh, things. Okay. Uh, when we were building that site, but uh, it looks great uh, and it was easy to use. And the, the support, we had a few development questions, and the, again, their support came through. Um, so many, many good plugins for the for the gateway. Um, FedEx, UPS, yeah, uh, the U.S. Mm -hmm. Postal Service. Wow, you know, support the U.S. Postal Service. Yeah, <laughs> support America. Let's, yeah, America. Let's get them. Let's get them shipping more stuff uh, in your in your site. Um, you know, so I, you know, I, I really like it for that. Uh, a lot more themes are coming out now supporting uh, WooCommerce in general. Right. Uh, and, and there's other extensions, Amazon S3, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of digital download stuff. Right. Uh, you know, marketing um, plugins, especially if you're trying to drive traffic to your site. Um, the reporting is great in the back end. That's another thing that I really liked okay. about it. Uh, you know, you have... Bar graphs, line graphs, pie charts, yes. <laughs> it's Some, all this stuff. Something I noticed in looking through both of them was there was a lot more tracking options yeah. and customer database management mm -hmm. with uh, WooCommerce than mm -hmm. there was with e-commerce, mm -hmm. or WP e-commerce. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, you know, my vote goes to WooCommerce, one, because we use it. <laughs> right. Uh, you know, but that's kind, of my bi yeah, <laughs> that's kind of our, our biased approach to it. But I, I do think it's a great, uh, I do think it's a great plugin. You know, haven't had any issues yet, right. and their support is great. Uh -huh. You know, so I have no no problems with it so far. Right. So and, and I looked since since you've been using WooCommerce for quite a while, mm -hmm. you can talk speak to that more than, than I could. Yep. I looked more into WP e commerce this week. And uh, as far as right out of the gate support, they work just like uh, WooCommerce. They have your free plugin right in the repository. Once you've downloaded, then you can go on their website, uh, getshopped.org. Mm -hmm. And from there you can actually purchase uh, different editions. Uh, they have um, 
you know, support for Amazon S3 that you can purchase. FedEx is the only one I noticed on their website off the top. I didn't see USPS or anything yep. like that, but FedEx was on there. They had MP3 downloads and players and managers, things like that. Um, and a couple other uh, payment options as well through Stripe and also through um, DPS PX Pay Payment was the other one that I saw, which nice. I don't have a lot of experience with, but that would be the other one that they offer. Sure. Um, so it doesn't cool. seem like they have as many. They, uh, right, they don't have as many, which is which is which is kind of a, a bummer. Mm -hmm. um, talking at it more for a user interface, you're putting this on your WordPress website. You're using it for the first time, and playing around with both of them and a little bit more extensively with uh, WP Ecommerce. I found that WooCommerce packaged everything together really nicely, mm -hmm. right within your WordPress page. If we're going to talk from that perspective. It was a lot simpler to use. There were bigger tabs highlighting things. It was a little better worded. Yeah. With WP Ecommerce, we have your products page on one section of WordPress. The settings are uh, denoted all the way down to the actual settings section of WordPress. So it's sort of in its own area over there. Mm -hmm. um, so it's all over the place, mm -hmm. and it's a little different and a little harder to use. Yeah, I, I think that that's one of those. Um... You know, I'm going to walk on some hot coals right yeah. now, but, but uh, I think WP Commerce is is uh, a, a much more mature plugin. It's been around a lot longer, um, but I think it was uh, built from the ground up by developers. By developers, whereas right. you have WooCommerce coming from theme and, and design, mm -hmm. uh, so they're inherently <clears throat> looking at it like, okay, we have to make it look really good, make it look, right. uh, make it really intuitive mm -hmm. to use, mm -hmm. uh, because they, they understand that design. Not that WP Ecommerce <laughs> doesn't understand it, but right. the background of yeah. WooCommerce. It's still and, nice and, right. and everything like that. They still have all those options. Yeah. Um, one thing I really liked is when you're looking in their product section, they had a lot of really cool uh, features. One of my favorites was variations. Um, as somebody who looks into uh, T-shirts and CDs or whatever it may be that you're looking to sell, being able to denote small, medium, large, extra large, yep. whatever, whatever it may be, um, was really nice. And they do a very good job of just putting it right there, um, as well as having product tags, categories all there together. Mm -hmm. So any sort of option, any sort of pricing option you'd want, mm -hmm. any sort of payment scheme, it's right there, you just throw it together. And, mm -hmm. and you found that pretty easy to navigate. Absolutely, yeah. super easy to navigate. Yeah, that, that uh, uh, WP, uh, WooCommerce does have that. Mm -hmm. It is a little bit kludgy in yeah. theirs. It, it's, um, because it's so flexible, they have, right. uh, you know, they have a lot of options mm -hmm. that you can go in and you have to define a lot more mm -hmm. uh, to get those, you know, if you wanted extra large in blue, right. and, you know, small in pink, right. you know, they have all these different <laughs> options. So it takes a little bit longer to mm -hmm. get set up, um, but not as clear uh, as we would like, it, especially when we, when we hand the site off to a customer. Right. They have to, now they have to. Because that's, that's the ultimate thing too you have to look at is if you are going to be taking this website and using it, but you're not going to be providing them content yourselves. You're going to be leaving it up to somebody else who may not have as much experience. You want to make sure that's as easy as possible. Right. Right. And I think that's what uh, one place, at least here, where WP e-commerce has a slight leg up on the competition. Yeah, um, they both have their inputs right into you know if there's an ad product page or you know or an ad you know when you're adding a post or a page or whatnot, mm -hmm. they have all their their short codes you can add, yeah. which will input those that's those good. icons right within your page. So they're both easy to use from that perspective that's as good. well. That's good. Uh, all right. Well. Look there. I mean, there you have it. There you we're, have it. <laughs> we're, we're trying to take this from a very, again, a very high level approach. Yeah. Um, and trying to trying to just show you, give you some slight insight if you're going to go further with uh, either of these plugins. Yeah. Uh, it's definitely uh, worth doing a little bit more of your homework. Or, or even let us know. We right. can maybe do a plugin Absolutely. review for you and do one look at one plugin uh, more specifically. Or if there's another e-commerce plugin you're looking at, we can look at them more from a back end perspective or some other perspective. Absolutely, that's that's a great point, Dan. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're we're not gonna again we're gonna go three times three times without picking a clear winner. Um, <laughs> you know, only because a lot of it has to do it's very situational. Right. It, it depends on what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. If you're a developer, you might like WP e-commerce because. You know, it's a strong development community, right? And you know, you are staying away from. You don't use any other Woo products. Yeah. You know. Right. Um, or if you're somebody starting off, you might want again that that paid support uh, of WooCommerce right. and and getting in the door. It's, with it's them. almost sort of a, a Mac PC dilemma. It is. It almost sort of is. You it know, you have is. your you have your clean stick with us interface of like a WooCommerce, and you have yep. your very developer oriented sort of custom. Let's do that this the way I want to do it, yeah. sort of WP e-commerce, yeah, which absolutely. is pretty interesting. What about the Linux users? What are they yeah. doing? Just coding in. They're coding it themselves. <laughs> they're, not even, they're not watching this yeah, video. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. 
<laughs> All right, well, there you have it. You can, uh, like Dan said, if you have any other questions about the plugins that we looked at today, go ahead and post uh, some comments either on our blog or in YouTube. Uh, hit up our site, slocumstudio.com slash blog to f find more about this stuff. And please do subscribe to our email list. You get updated and notified when we come out with new stuff. So, all right, good. That's another one in the can. There you go. <laughs> all right, Dan. Thanks a lot. Nice Bye, guys. Nice.